Hello, Samuel. Good evening. Good evening, Samuel. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Happy Friday. How was your day? Thank you, teacher. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Very good. Mm, that's nice to hear that. And now, uh, Joanna, welcome to the class. How are you? Oh, you're still walking to home. No worries, Joanna. Welcome, Nidia. Good evening. Is joining no. too. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're walking home. Uh, I am uh, camping. Oh, you're camping. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And as a very responsible student, you are connected to the class and then you will continue enjoying your camping. <laughs> yeah. Thank nice, you. nice. Thank you so much for being so responsible, everybody for being on time. Uh, remember that we just have uh, today's class and two more left and you will be uh, finishing this module. So thank you so much for um, staying connected. So um, we will finish the section number four um, with this reading exercise to see if we can get some more uh, vocabulary. And then we will start section number um, five. Let's do this reading exercise in order to uh, find your vocabulary. We have uh, these things that we can do to help the environment. We have uh, four categories. We have cars, energy, products, and water. Can someone help me to read about cars? I volunteer to read this part. Thanks me too. Thank you, David. <clears throat> Cars are getting bigger. Subs, large truck, like va vehicle, vehicles, 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 are now the most popular cars in the United States. Bigger vehicles burn more gas and increase air pollution. So try to walk, bicycle, or use public transportation. If you drive a car, keep it turned off. This saves gas and reduces pollution. Okay, reduce, reduce. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. And vehicles. Thank you so much for helping us. Is there any um, new vocabulary here? Mm, new vocabulary? Yes, in the case of vehicles and SUVs, it's a type of vehicle for that, right? Yes, I uh -huh. the last SUVs, some como um, eh, camionetas grandes, esas son las SUVs. Creo que son las, uh -huh. hay algunas que le dicen Suburban, que creo que es el modelo, pero sí son camionetas grandes. Uh -huh. So this is large truck like vehicles. Any other question? Um, ¿Qué significa increase? Increase. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Increase es aumentar. Aumentar, increase. Pero toda la increase a pollution, ¿qué significa toda la? Increase air pollution incrementa la contaminación del aire. Pollution es contaminación. Gracias. Okay, any other question?
All right, um, let's read about energy. Can someone read at this part, energy? Me teacher. Thank you, Your Honor. The biggest use of home energy is for heating, heating and cooling. So turn up your air condition, conditioner and turn down the heat. The heat. The heat. The heat. The heat. Especially, uh -huh. especially at night. Replace regular light bulbs with bulbs that use less energy and remember to turn lights off. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for helping us reading, Joanna. Is there any question about the vocabulary? Bulbs? Bulbs uh, son the bombillos de esos, los focos o bombillos, light bulbs. Los bombillos de los light bulbs. Teacher, yes, good night. Good um, night. ¿Qué eh, significa heating and heating. cooling? Uh, mm. Heating es calentar mm. y cool es enfriar. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, let's read about products. I volunteer to read about products. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Uh, each American throws away about uh, one each kilogram of four pounds of garbage every day. Most of goes into landed. Uh, reduce waste before you buy. Buy or buy, no sé, buy. 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 Be asking yourself, uh, do I need this? Is this uh, something? I can only use one. Uh, buy products that you can use over and over again. And try to buy products made from recycling. Materials. 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 Okay, thank you so much. All right, so yes, I, here is like a tongue twister. Aquí suena como que fuera un trabajo, ¿verdad? So yes, it's a kind of difficult. Reduce waste before you buy by asking yourself. Uh, is buy the comprar and by asking yourself. Uh, do I need this? Mm -hmm. A new vocabulary here. Este, land, land, no sé cómo. Land. Ah, landfills. Landfills land. son los vertederos de basura o los botaderos. Botaderos o vertederos son esos. Como en la picture number five. Picture number five, this is a landfill. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Re, uh, good evening, Miss. It recycled. I don't know. Recycled materials. Materiales reciclados. Mm -hmm. All right, I volunteer to read about water. Me. Thank you. Okay. Water. Showers use a lot of water. In one week, a typical American family uses as much water as a person drinks in the three years, but a special low flow. Show her head or take shorter, shorter, shorter showers. This can cut water use of half 
also fix any leaky faucet. Fa faucet. Fa what? Faucet. Faucet. Mm -hmm. Like a fossa. No, it's a oh. faucet. Son los, uh, el chorro, el, el grifo. Oh, the grief. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Any question about this? Vocabulary? Yes. Uh, what is leaky? Ah, uh, uh, leaky is leak. El, cuando hay algo que está liqueando, es como te tiene una fuga, gotea, gotera. Leaky faucet. Uh, eh, chorros con gotera. Hay que arreglarlos to reduce the water waste. Any other question? Teacher, uh, I have two uh, other question. What is uh, low flow? Uh, flujo bajo. La recomendación ahí es comprar una um, regadera de flujo bajo. Any other question? Okay, um, let's see about this reading. Let's answer the part A, read the article. We did it. Where do you think it is from? Do you think that this article comes from a textbook, from an encyclopedia, a magazine, or an advertisement? What do you think? ¿De dónde creen que es este artículo? ¿De un libro de texto, enciclopedia, una revista o de algún anuncio? A textbook, maybe. A textbook, ok. And the rest of you, everybody thinks comes from a textbook? Anuncio. An encyclopedia. Okay. A textbook, an encyclopedia. An advertiser. Advertisement. Advertisement. Oh, yeah. Um, no, it comes from a magazine. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought a magazine. Uh, the, it comes from a magazine. Okay, and then uh, you have uh, this exercise in part B to read the statements and write the advice from the article that each person should follow. For example, in number one, Stephanie always takes long showers in the morning. Based on the reading, what advice you would give to Stephanie? Water. Uh, sorry? The water. The water? Yes. Ah, pero qué consejo le darían? Como lo oh. escribirían para que um Mejor eso. Dice que Stephanie siempre toma duchas largas en la mañana. Oh, okay, if uh, Stephanie always takes a, a long shower, uh, can get a, a low flow. Uh -huh. So she yeah. can get a, a low. special low flow shower low. head. Low, yeah, shower. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. very good. Or? Um, take a shorter shower. Uh huh. Take a shorter shower. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Shorter shower. Okay, good. Now number two. In the winter, Ralph keeps the heat turned up all day. In the winter, Ralph keeps the heat turned up 
all day. He should. What should she do? Well, he. What about should he the energy? Do? Um. Uh huh. It says that he keeps the air conditioner turned up all day. In the winter, the heat. Uh, replace she, regular flight bulls. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that can be one. And the other one could be turn down the heat, especially remember, at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, number three, Matt buys a newspaper every day, but never reads it. Okay, he, if he buys a newspaper every day and never reads it, What could, could be by products that you can use over and over again? Uh huh. Uh, instead of something that he is not going to use, right? Because he said that he buys the wrist paper every day but never reads it. So, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, read online. Oh, ah, read online newspapers. Uh huh. That is a good advice, pero como nunca los lee. <laughs> so he should stop buying things he doesn't need. Okay, so it says reduce weight before buy uh, or asking things, do I need this? Is this something I can only use once? He never use it. <laughs> put, it put it in the trash in his door or something like that, I don't know. Uh, to find a way to <laughs> use those <laughs> <three> papers. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Stuart drives to work, but his office is near his home. What should Stuart do? Stuart drives to work, but his office what? is... Oh, he should walk or yeah. ride a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Now, Shayla leaves the light on at home all the time. Shayla leaves the lights on at home all the time. What should Shayla do? The, remember the drop. Oh, remember to turn off the lights, uh-huh. Yes. When... when she's not gonna be at home. Okay. Yeah. Well, and that was the end of uh, section number four. And in section number five, uh, we will be using future with be going to and also with present continuous. For that, we have this uh, vocabulary about making excuses. We have some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. Here we have a list. And visit that night. I can't find a babysitter. I'm not feeling well. I have to work then. I have class that night. My parents are visiting from out of town. I need to stay home with my new puppy. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. Any question about this vocabulary? About making excuses? No, me. Poppy, teacher, uh, Poppy is in Spanish. Yeah. Perrito, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Cachorro. Cachorro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cachorro. 
correcto. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Tenía esa duda. Have you um have you ever used any of these excuses? Have you ever used those excuses? I I have. I have. Which ones? <laughs> uh, when I don't want to go to work. <laughs> uh, so what do you say? No, or, or don't go, or you don't go, or do you don't want to go to with your friends? Maybe you don't like your friend, or I don't know. Uh huh. Which ones have you used? For example, I have used this one. I have to get up early next morning. Yes, I have I used this one. Higher, he's tired or something. Uh -huh. Or I said, um, I have class that night, which is true. <laughs> I don't feel well too. I am not feeling well, uh-huh. Which other have you used? Joanna, have you used any of these excuses? The most common, uh, common uh, is it's a uh, I am be I am busy that right that night. Okay. That night. Mm -hmm. Oh, that right this moment when is the right pen now. Uh huh. Joanna. Yeah. Oh, we cannot hear you, Joanna. Maybe you're having issues with the audio. Oh, it's not working. No worries. No worries. Uh, anybody else? Jancy? Karen? Elvira? Jose? Amilcar? Elena? Carla? Have you used any of these excuses? Yes, excuse me. I have to get up early the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Any other? Okay. Well, we have a conversation here about making plans. Um, given those excuses, we're going to listen to uh, this conversation. So first we're going to listen, then you define if there's an equation. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. Making plans. Part A, listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Any question about this conversation? Uh, what is bowling? Bowling, uh, a los bolos. No bolitos, boliches. Ah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that the girl likes uh, or loves the ball or bowling. Um, <laughs> yes, I think it's that amazing. here. Here in El Salvador, it's not like very common. Uh, like uh, yeah. it's few people that likes that maybe, but uh, in the United States, yes, it's a uh, pretty common and probably they they like those kind of uh, sports. I think so. Any it's other? A... Uh huh. What is the meaning afterward? Let's see. Where did you see that one? Um, oh, más adelante, más adelante, maybe we can get some dinner, como más adelante, como en ese dice, le dice que no, 
porque va a ir con el a, hermano a hacer algo, entonces le dice, ok, entonces más adelante tal vez podemos, uh -huh. tal vez podemos más adelante, that's the meaning of afterward. Quizás más adelante, algo más o menos. Quizás sí. más adelante, ajá, uh -huh. okay. Ah, ok, sí, ahí está, maybe, quizás o tal vez, ok, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, uh, we have a more content here in this conversation. It's part B. We have two questions. They continue talking and we have this to answer these two questions. When are they going to have dinner? And who are they going to meet after dinner? We're going to listen to the rest of the conversation and answer these two questions. When are they going to have dinner and who are they going to meet after dinner? Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Did you get the information? No? Let's listen one more time. Okay, please, yeah. Okay. Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. When are they going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet after dinner? After we're done bowling, do you want to go to the Chinese palace for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 8 o'clock. That's not too late. You know, maybe Jason can join us. Yeah. Hey, Jason, what are you doing tomorrow night? Do you want to join Miguel and me for dinner? We're going to the Chinese palace at 8. I have to work till 8.30, but why don't I meet you afterward? That'd be great, Jason. Okay, did you get the information? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> okay, first one, uh, when are they going to have dinner? Miguel and the lady. Mm. Uh, okay, the question is when? Oh, tomorrow night. And who are they going to meet eight, after eight dinner? Uh, Jason. Jason will be the eight thirty, but not have dinner. Has dinner after work. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, yes, you did a good job. You got the idea. So, it says they are going to have dinner at 8. And Jason is going to meet them after work. Uh -huh. He's not going to have dinner with them. But, yes, he will join them after. Meet to, to them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you get the idea. Very good. Now, um, we're going to listen to the audio program again to practice the conversation. I'm going to be stopping the recording so that you can practice at home. Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. Page 100, Exercise 2, Conversation. Making Plans. Part A. Listen and Practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, 
Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, uh, let's practice the conversation in group. This one is in the material that you download from the platform and it's also in the presentation I sent before the class. Okay, let us practice. Uh, do you have the presentation? No. Uh, can you share the presentation with the classmate? Alguien que comparta la la conversación. Pero ahorita. Ya casi. Sí, no, pero... Solo yo estoy de varón aquí. <ríe> Creo que sí. Ahí está. Está pesada esta presentación porque no se abre rápido. De Ahí veras. Está. Ahí está, hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Está Elvira, Catherine y Reina. Ya. Vale. Es esta creo. Sí. <coughs> Perdón, más abajito, pero ahí vamos a acabar ahí. ¿Quién inicia? Eh, Lynn sería la una Ajá. señorita, veo. Y yo voy a ser Miguel. Vale. ¿Inicio con, contigo? Sí. Ok. Mm. Say Miguel, uh, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I go to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well, uh, maybe some other time. Are you are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go down. Tomorrow so fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get um, some some them dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Bye. Ahora. Alguien más que practique. Me? Mm -hmm. Me, Ling? Bye. Mm -hmm. <gasps> 
say, Miguel? What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow, some five. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you. Vaya, ahora, ¿quién sería? Eh, Katherine. Ok. ¿Y quién es? Elvira, creo que Elvira. está aquí. Elvira. Elvira, no Elvira, sé si hello. está. Y sí, aquí está Elvira. Yeah. Pero Elvira hear? creo que tiene problemas porque todavía está trabajando. Bueno, eso nos ha dicho ah. cuando trabajamos. Vaya, ah, pues si quiere. Pero ahí eh, está, preguntémosle. Con, con Catherine, voy a hacer, vamos a hacer el cambio. Ahora yo voy a hacer Link y ella, Miguel. Ok. Vaya. Say, Miguel, what are, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Y ahora, ahí nos escribió Elvira, dice que le doblaron el turno. Híjole, vaya, no hay problema. Entonces, con, con Reina, ¿sí? ¿With Reina? Liz. Okay. ¿Con quién? Uh, ¿Con Jancy? Yes. Ok. Uh, uh, ¿Soy Miguel? Yulin. Uh, ah. Miguel. Ok. Uh, say Miguel, what are you what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow's at five. I go to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after what? Maybe we can get some diner. Sound great. Bueno, oh, pueden sí. practicar otra vez, otra ronda, Edson y, y Catherine, porque nos hacen falta. Ajá, en lo que, en lo que pasan uh -huh. hasta donde lleguen. Sí. Vaya. ¿Quién va ahora? Usted Catherine. y Rey y Catherine. Ajá. Um, Catherine. Ya casi 11 segundos quedan. Ay, sí. Bueno. Entonces. Ya Entonces no regresamos. <ríe> sí. Hello, we're back and we see everybody. Okay, yes. So um, before we continue with the grammar topic, uh, we're going to check attendance. So remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your names. Um, okay. 
Amilcar Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Angelica y Amilet. Hello, Miss. Aquí estoy ya. Thank you. Celia del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. David Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Edson Stanley. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena Noemi. Elena Noemi. Elvira Lorenza. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Joanna. Joanna está con problemitas de audio, pero sabemos que ahí está Joanna, so no worries. Dan, José Daniel. Present, Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, José Daniel. José Fernando. No, Elena. Elena. Sí. No, Joanna. Ok, thank you, Elena. Yes. José Fernando. José Fernando Hernández. Carla Selena. Carla Selena. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Yasmin. Present Miss. Thank you. Katherine Alejandra. Present Miss. Thank you. Kevin Alexander. Kevin Alexander. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Reina Elizabeth. Ruth Noemi. Ruth Noemi, Samuel, present, thank you, um, Yancy, present teacher, thank you, okay, um, I'm going to share the video uh, about the grammar spot and then we're going to discuss in case that we have any questions or need to clarify something? Let me find this um, video. Okay, here it is. You. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is plus verb plus ing. 
Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. I'm going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, was it clear how, uh, how to use the present continuous to express future as well as be going to? Or you have any question? I said that you were having some issues when uh, completing those exercises related to that topic, but I would like to know if there's any question about this. No questions? No, teacher, no, no. Okay, so it's clear when do we use uh, present continuous to express future as well as be going to. Miss, I have a question. Mm -hmm. In present continuous, can use in past and future? El presente continuo, si se puede usar para pasado y futuro. Yes. No. El presente continuo solo se puede utilizar para acciones que están sucediendo en el momento y para futuro. Ah, es que, bueno, a mí me enseñaron de que se puede usar en pasado, por ejemplo, eh, I was watching eh, Netflix. Pero ese es pasado continuo. Ah. No es presente continuo, es pasado continuo. Uh -huh. Okay, Miss, thank you. You're welcome. Y ahí se usa was. El verbo se conjuga a pasado. El verbo be se conjuga a was o were para pasado. Ahora, en el presente continuo, el verbo to be se utiliza en presente, no se conjuga a pasado. Y se puede usar ese tiempo para expresar uh, algo que está sucediendo en el presente y también para un plan a futuro. Entonces ahí es donde a veces confunde un poco, ¿verdad? Es decir, es presente continuo, pero lo voy a utilizar para futuro. Pero por eso quería saber si tenían preguntas respecto al tema, el video en sí. ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? No questions. Teacher, siempre debe ir acompañado el verbo de tú. Sí, es. Um... Reina dice que no puedo entrar, pero 
con audio. Ok, Reina, no se preocupe. Puede entrar aunque no esté con audio, solo voy a verificar si, si la logré anotar en la, pues, en la lista de asistencia. Ok, la pregunta era con él si, se, si siempre va a llevar el to. Lo va a llevar siempre y cuando esté usando going to porque esa es la estructura. De hecho, la estructura se llama futuro con be going to. Ajá. Porque si vamos a usar el futuro con este, um, con be going to, siempre va a llevar el verbo to be, o sea, am, is, or are, y la going to. Y luego del to va a ir el verbo en forma simple, no se va a conjugar. Entonces sí vi que están teniendo problemitas porque a veces ponían el to, eh, les decían quite el to y etcétera. Entonces creo que por ahí viene su pregunta. Sí, siempre que sea futuro con be going to, siempre lo va a llevar, pero si es presente continuo, no. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Porque esta es la estructura, ¿verdad? Esta es la estructura. Vamos a ver, si vamos a hacer una oración, iría primero el sujeto. Ok. Luego del sujeto, pondríamos el verbo to be. Luego tenemos que poner be going to. Luego de be going to, el main verb, el, sea, el verbo principal. Y luego algún complemento. Esta es la estructura para hacer una oración usando be going to. Por ejemplo, si decimos, um, um, uh, mis hijos irán uh, de compras um, o ellos van a ir a visitar a sus abuelos. So you say my kids. Ellos serían el sujeto, ¿verdad? Mis hijos, my kids. Ok, ya tengo el sujeto. ¿A este sujeto qué forma del verbo be le corresponde? Am, is, o are? Are. Oh. Are, because it's plural. Ajá, uh -huh. are, porque es plural. Entonces, um, ahora el verbo, el verbo principal sería visit. Entonces, perdón, perdón, perdón. Después going. del be, va going to. Ajá, uh -huh. la to expresión visit. going to. Y luego visit. el visit, el verbo, eh, sería el verbo principal, visit, y esto ya no le pongo nada, so, va a ir simple. My kids are going to visit el complemento, their grandparents. Ok, my kids are going to visit their grandparents. Ok, este es un plan, estoy usando... La estructura de be going to. Ahora, si quiero utilizar presente continuo para la misma oración, ya no voy a poner going to, sino que el presente continuo, <ríe> si recuerdan la estructura, siempre va a ir sujeto. Eh, el um, verbo be siempre va. Y luego no va going to, sino que va el verbo principal, pero se le agrega. ING, so me quedaría my kids are. Ah, entonces ya no uso esto, sino que voy a usar de una vez el verbo principal que es visit, pero aquí sí lo conjugo. Visiting. Y luego el complemento que irá igual. Y tengo que especificar la, el tiempo. Tengo que usar una time expressions. Eso se miraba en el video. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, las estructuras son diferentes. Si se fija, aquí no estoy usando el to. Porque la estructura no, no lo requiere. En este caso, my kids. Lo, verbo be, verbo principal con ing. No hay to aquí. En este sí, porque es la expresión completa, going to. Y ya luego va el verbo sin conjugarse, el verbo principal. Y en los dos estoy utilizando, eh, estoy expresando futuro en las dos oraciones. My kids are going to visit their grandparents. Y my kids are visiting their grandparents next weekend. Solo que um, 
en este, por ejemplo, si yo la dejo hasta aquí, digamos, my, my kids are visiting their grandparents. Se puede dar a entender que están ahorita visitando a sus papás, ahorita. Entonces, si yo quiero, es, eh, eh, si yo estoy utilizándolo para expresar futuro, tengo que agregarle la time expression al final. En este no es necesario, pero igual puedo hacerlo. Any questions? No. No questions. My kids, ajá. Hay algo, uh, está claro ahora que, que con la pregunta de cuándo va a ir el tú o si siempre va a ir. Yes. yes, ok, good. Any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? Any other question? Uh, miss, no tengo una pregunta, solo uh, cuando pasó la asistencia ya no podía, ya no podía entrar después de la práctica. Hasta ahorita que voy de nuevo entrando al, a, la, a la clase. Sorry. Ok, no problem. Reina Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Ahorita vamos a... Sí, me sacaba y realmente ya no podía. Pensé que ya no iba, no iba a lograrlo, pero ya. Al final okay. casi. Sí, ajá. No estaba en el momento que pasé asistencia, sí, pero ahorita yo... ya, ya corregí. Sí, solo... O sea, sí te, o sea, entré, pero sin audio, no escuchaba absolutamente nada y luego me sacó y luego intenté hasta aquí. Sorry, pero aquí estuve. Ok, bien, ya la anoté. Gracias por avisar. Ok, gracias, Miss. You're welcome. And then, any other question? No more questions. Ok, um... If there are no more questions, I think that we can start with the next exercise that you have there, uh, which is related to the video that you saw in the platform. Eh, aquí está, por ejemplo, las dos estructuras que fue lo que vieron en el video. Future with present continuous and be going to. Están ambas estructuras. Y como les mencionaba, las time expressions que se pueden utilizar. So, en la primera, ¿Cómo completarían? ¿Qué es lo que falta? What? If we have you. El verbo do. Tonight. Would you like to go out? Both. I don't know. What do you want? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Ajá. Ese quedaría. What are you doing tonight? Tonight. Tonight. Would you like to go out? And in the answer? Mm, oh, sorry, um, the answer uh, is, it is in part B. Are you doing any, any of? I, I am going to. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you do, doing? Okay, let's complete first the questions. So I see you're still confused. ¿Todavía están un poquito confundidos o sienten que sí ya podrían hacer este ejercicio? El que estaba en la plataforma era similar, si no es que era el mismo y ajá, vi que hacían varias okay. preguntas y lo resolvimos por salir del paso, ¿verdad? Pero eh, que mañana, no, mañana no hay clases, <ríe> mañana es sábado, descansamos. Eh, les voy a poner un material donde están las dos estructuras. Um, y a veces también se confunde con will porque también will es para futuro entonces vamos a, a, a estudiar las estructuras para saber dónde eh, a veces eso ayuda como decir ok aquí está usando presente continuo aquí es futuro con going to y eh, cómo irla armando entonces les voy a agregar material eh, de refuerzo y vamos a completar este ejercicio el lunes ok Okay. Thank you, the chair. Ya lo va a poner en la plataforma. 
No puedo subir ni modificar la plataforma. El material que yo hago es el que comparto por WhatsApp. Así como el del Superlatives y los Comparatives que estuvimos, que les agregué, no lo puedo subir, no puedo modificar la plataforma. Entonces, por eso les mando las PowerPoints. Uh -huh. Pero sí, lo voy a hacer el lunes. Eh, voy a tratar de hacerlo temprano porque yo sé que hay gente que tal vez eh, lo quiera tener impreso para um, uh, utilizarlo en la clase. Voy a tratar de mandárselos antes del mediodía el lunes. Así es que van a, a tener la presentación temprano. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Gracias, mm -hmm. teacher. Okay, I hope that you enjoy your weekend and see you on Monday. Monday. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.